But now, if we want to sum all the values in our original example, we no longer need to write out all of the x's. Instead, we can write our summation starting at i equals 1 and ending at the fifth value. This is way better when wanting to extend to 10 or 20 or even 100 values. We no longer need to write out all of those x's. However, we can be even more efficient than this. Each time our data set changes, I have to change this number at the top to indicate how many values I'm summing. If we really just want to sum all of our values, we can replace this top value with n. Now our notation will work for any data set. So far, we have a way to sum all of our values regardless of how many are in our data set. In order to finish this calculation of the mean, we need to divide our sum by how many values are in our data set. But this is just n. You will commonly see the mean of the data set notated like this, which we pronounce as x bar. And it is calculated with this notation, which says you sum all of the values in the data set and then divide by the number of values in the data set. Learning notation can be tough. Don't be afraid to watch this video more than once. Before we move on to the next sections, there are quizzes available in the next module to assure you have mastered the concepts we've introduced here.